Hey folks, Just Sabora here. Yes, it's been a while since I've done my last video, although I did post another video after that. Mostly because I'm still busy, as usual. <laughs> I'm taking my astronomy class, uh, which is an online class, and so far I just completed some assignments and quizzes, so I'm keeping up with it, and, and I'm actually going to get ready for an exam that's coming up. In fact, it's actually coming up this week. I can't believe it. <laughs> so I gotta prepare myself by studying as hard as I can. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> but not only that, but I'm already uh, working on my new Bidme channel. I'm posting all my old YouTube videos. Since I just recently got Birdify. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> so now I can keep up with it, but I'm probably not going to get much time anyway because I had to continue studying with my test. So I'm actually going to post one video for now because I won't be able to have much time to post as many videos as possible. So I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. I want to be able to do very well for this class. So let's just hope for the best. But interesting enough, um, I decided to review another Charlie Brown review and amazingly enough it has to do with school <laughs> it's called there's no time for love Charlie Brown it's amazing enough because I'm not getting much time either <laughs> anyway it's the knife uh, peanuts special it aired after what I just reviewed uh, a month ago you're not elected Charlie Brown so this is a follow-up to it and of course it even precedes um, the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving anyway it came out on March 11, 1973 aired on CBS and it's a story about um, all the Peanuts gang are struggling a lot to uh, work as hard as they can since they only have three months of school left and not only that but Charlie Brown is struggling so hard to get an A on his reports especially the one we had to write a report on a field trip to the art museum. Yeah. That's going to be a lot difficult for him to do so. Stars Chad Rapper as Charlie Brown, Stephen Shea as Linus Van Pelt, Robin Kahn as Lucy Van Pelt, Hilary Momberger as Sally Brown, James Arenz as Marcy, Todd Barbie as Franklin, Christopher DeFea as Pepper and Patty, Linda Mendelssohn as Frida and Bill Melendez as Snoopy with Ben Scaraldi as the singer for the theme song of Joe Cool. That's right. Created by Charles M. Schultz and it's directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins when there's only three months of school left for all of the Peanuts gang since they've been under pressure struggling a lot by taking too many tests and homework assignments that even worse they now have to make their preparation to write a report on a field trip to the art museum but Charlie Brown is definitely uh, one of the hardest ones to take because his grades started to fail from A to C. Like he's been getting C in history, math, English, and reading. Yeah, feels like he's a lost student. So yeah, everybody was like working as hard as they can. Uh, Linus is uh, working on his new math. And he knew how hard it was, even though it, it takes some time. <laughs> Then uh, Pepper and Patty, you know, working with, along with Franklin, you know, dealing with this, this one test, all of that, and of course you see Snoopy as Joe Cool, you know, trying to please with uh, the ladies, including Violet, and and Violet just uh, smacks him, you know, with his glasses, and yeah, they just continue to go on and on and on, yeah. Anyway. After that, well, Charlie Brown had just found out that 
he has to receive a big grade on his museum report in order for him to salvage it. But if he doesn't, then he's going to fail the entire semester. And if that wasn't the case, he must fight off all the distractions that he had to deal with with Peppermint Patty, because that's why he's not having any luck uh, having the having some time for themselves, like you know maybe falling in love or something. And her classmate Marcy, which by the way, this is actually her animation debut since the the comic strip where Pepper and Patty uh, was at camp and she becomes the leader of, of little kids which also includes Marcy and that's when Marcy keeps calling Pepper and Patty sir yeah <laughs> well it makes sense because Pepper and Patty is, is simply um, a tomboy so she's she does wear regular clothes like like the way men do in that, in that sort of way. I mean, she just wears her, her green shirts, her black shorts, and and green sandals, or flip-flops, if you like to call it. Well, either way. Um, so that's why uh, Marcy's been acting like, you know, that Pepper and Patty's a male. <laughs> and, like, she's a drill sergeant. So that's why she... She acts like she's in the army and she's, she keeps calling her sir. She should be calling her ma'am instead. Yeah. Well, we get the idea. Well, anyway, both of them actually have feelings for Charlie Brown too. So they're trying to fight it off. So now they were getting ready on a trip to the art museum along with the rest of the gang. So, so Charlie Brown along with her sister Sally as well as Pepper and Patty, Marcy, and Snoopy had accidentally went to, get this, the supermarket which was right next to the art museum. So all the other Peanuts gang, including Linus and Lucy, they decided to take some pictures of all the um, art sculptures, paintings, and pictures, and all that other stuff, so that way we get to see what it really looks like over there. While Charlie Brown, Sally, Pepper and Patty, Marcy had just went inside the supermarket, yeah, along with Snoopy, they they claimed that uh, all the other uh, <laughs> all the other foods and other supplies that they have, or they thought that part of this was an art sculpture and everything, but it wasn't. Like for example, that there's a uh, huge display of cans of, of tomato sauce that's like all the way up to the top of the ceiling so it's like there are a whole bunch of cans full of them and, and they thought this was an art sculpture like this was pop art right there <laughs> and then uh, Sally actually thought that that those uh, that those displays of of meats such as steak, T-bone, uh, ribs, are actually dinosaur bones and all that. <laughs> Even though it is a meat market, so it seems like Marcy's like the the only one that's smart around here who actually knows that that they're actually in a supermarket since everything looks exactly alike. So there's nothing like what you saw in the museum. <laughs> so they knew that they all made a big mistake. Anyway, meanwhile, Snoopy is uh, working as a cash register at the supermarket, you know, just going around, uh, helping out all the customers, <laughs> especially the scene where, you know, he, he just took out a can of dog food and then uh, he just licks it and then the next one, he just took out a can of cat food and then he says, eh, feeling very disgusted. And also, he uh, he was just checking out all the produce, like he was just checking out all the food to see how good they are, until he accidentally uh, squirted uh, the tomato, and that's where he made that mess. <laughs> yeah. And it all happened while the song uh, "Joe Cool" that sung by Ben Scaraldi had played. This was basically the second verse of the song. Uh, 
after uh, you're not elected, Charlie Brown. It just it just works so well. I love that song. Joe Cool after school working at the supermarket playing the fool. Joe Cool taking less and be careful with the manager, he's dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> Love that song. And also another funny scene was when he was just getting ready to put out all the groceries uh, inside the shopping carts and he just uh, he puts all the groceries in the bag but then it broke in place then he was about to take the shopping cart away until, until he had trouble stopping and then his foot got caught into it with uh, with tons of shopping carts stuck in and then then another uh, set of shopping carts had pushed them over outside of, of the supermarket. While Pepper and Patty decided to fall asleep since uh, you know, she, she couldn't uh, stay awake mostly because Marcy had woke her up early at, at 4 o'clock in the morning because even though Pepper and Patty had promised Marcy to come right over so they can explain about the, the field trip and all that. Mostly because, yeah, because Marcy is, um, is scared to death of field trips alone. Like, she, like uh, she's afraid that she's going to get sick or get lost. And that's certainly the case, too. But she wasn't the only one because Sally's feeling the same way. <laughs> like, she's afraid that she's going to get sick, too. She fell asleep. Charlie Brown is just uh, feeling kind of depressed because he's dealing with what's going on. And, and apparently Pepper and Patty thought that he just ran away because of that she said something nasty to him, calling him uh, a boring, dull, wishy-washy old Chuck. But it turns out that it was just, he was still going for for what's going to happen since he was stuck at the supermarket the whole time. So, yeah. Well, that had to go for it because now, uh, now Charlie Brown has to work with Pepper and Patty and Marcy on the, the report so they can so they can pretend that they actually did win inside and they look at all the sculptures and everything. But it's, it is a shame because, uh, well, he know that he's going to fail. So Charlie Brown had just went uh, to uh, Linus and Lucy's house just to look at all the all the pictures that that he just had put up on as slides. So he'd be able to see what the paintings really look like and that's what causes Charlie Brown to feel very uh, nervous now. <laughs> But as things just went along um, during the during that final day, when he found out that now his report that he just turned in, along with everybody, he now has an A on his report, and yeah, it, finally he got one. So of course Pepper and Patty had later apologized to Charlie Brown because of what she said, because of what happened. Uh, during the, the reports that they were working on. I mean, Marcy was just about to go home and he was walking with Charlie Brown talking about how they felt and, and that Pepper and Patty really really loves Charlie Brown so he know he didn't mean it. Yeah. But of course Charlie Brown had to bring up the little redhead girl. That's what causes uh, Pepper and Patty's is jealousy. <laughs> but at the end, Pe Marcy just keeps calling Pepper and Patty sir, like, like she always does. And at the end, she, she tells uh, Marcy, How come you always call me sir when I ask you not to? D don't you know how annoying that could be? And she just says, No, ma'am. <laughs> then the special ends. Yeah. Also, um, now... It's a very good special, and I really loved it too. It definitely shows about, I mean, what was it like being under pressure with all the tests and homework assignments? 
that you have to do in order to earn a good grade. It's just, it's not easy really, and that's how I felt too. But, get to that. This was also considered to be the first special to actually have a lot of blackout sketches that they were doing, like most of the time when you're basically focusing on all the characters like Sally and Pepper and Patty with Franklin and Charlie Brown and uh, as well as uh, Linus and Lucy they just show a lot of uh, yeah, and of course Snoopy <laughs> yeah, Joe Cool they're just going around um, they're just showing like scenes of them you know working as hard as they can and they, they did all these uh, fade in and fade out blackouts that they put in. Now when I had this on VHS by the way, I had the special I remember they just uh, they fade out then they cut to the next scene while the DVD I, as well as the other DVD that I got they just uh, show them uh, they fade in and then suddenly they fade out between those scenes alone so they look quite different compared to that old VHS uh, tape that I picked up and my VHS tape that I got was uh, from KBC Home Video yeah, Cardis uh, Video Communications the company that, that released mostly other types of videos of TV shows and movies including the, uh, the films from the Atlantic Releasing Corporation while the other ones uh, were released by Paramount and then later Warner Brothers so then you see the difference but that alone would later be used in shows like a Charlie Brown Celebration, it's an adventure Charlie Brown and a Charlie Brown Christmas Tales and yep of course the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show perfect <laughs> also uh, Here's something that's really amazing, but when Charlie Brown and Marcy were walking home together, believe it or not, the, the line, Good Grief, was actually recorded straight out of uh, the movie Snoopy Come Home. And, and I figured that sounded familiar, seeing that it's, uh, it's from the same voice actor, uh, Chad Reber. But of course... Um, also, not to mention, Marcy actually kissed Charlie Brown in the cheek and was actually uh, going up to uh, his house and calling Pepper and Patty to tell him to thank him for the goodnight kiss so that way it, that Pepper and Patty would definitely understand. Well, yeah, he'd away. <laughs> I love the moments with uh, Snoopy as Joe Cool. I mean, when he was at the supermarket, you know, as I explained. And um, I even love the moments at the beginning of the special where Sally was getting up. You know, suddenly she found out that the alarm clock didn't go off. And, and then you see Charlie Brown just eating the uh, bowl of cereal. And then well, Sally is just getting really nervous already and hoping she'll be able to relax. And then she just... Then she's already at school, and then that's where she says, Who can relax? <laughs> yeah. There's even funny moments when Sally just brought in the, a show-and-tell project, and it was like a big box, and she, she, she was just explaining everything, but then she, she just never gets a chance. So then she just brought in the box and put it onto her desk, right next to that kid and she's already feeling <laughs> very mad because she just, <laughs> she just put that giant box uh, over her head yeah. they did it differently in the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show episode everybody was struggling so hard yeah. also um, the parts with uh, Pepper and Patty with Franklin was actually done differently in the comic strips where it was actually uh, Roy that went into it but this time they just rid it off for Franklin so that's uh, really interesting that they did that uh, <laughs> well anyway that was a good special uh, really enjoyed it um, 
it's not easy having to deal with with taking all these tests and homework assignments, trying in order to earn good grades. It's it's really hard, really, you know, having to deal with it. So that's why you never have much time to do anything. That's the problem, especially me. I never have time to do anything, and I probably would never have time to to fall in love either. If that's the case, so there you go. That's there's no time for love, Charlie Brown, and I give it five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.